Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you hands-free punching in Reaper. Now, if you're like me, you do a lot of recording by yourself. So punching in and out can be a problem. But luckily in Reaper, we can do it automatically and hands-free. I have a guitar track in front of me. It's actually a guitar solo. And I want to punch in one section. I'm happy with the performance overall. But right over here, I think I could do that better. So let's hear what we have now. So right over here, we're going to punch in. And over here, we're going to punch out. Because I want to save the first part of the solo and the end. So the first thing we want to do is go up here to the toolbar and turn on auto crossfade. This will create crossfades or fading in and fading out at our punch points, so it'll sound smoother. Next, I want to put the guitar track back in record and switch the monitoring mode. Right now, it's set to record monitoring on, but if we click it, it'll switch to auto. Or we could right click it, and you can see it right here. Monitor input, tape auto style. What this is going to do is it's going to turn off our guitar as far as the input while this track is playing, and we're only going to hear the input when we're punched in. So we can hear what it's going to sound like in the end. So let's say I mute this item. And if I hit play, I don't hear the guitar. Even though I'm playing it right here. This is my input. I'm only going to hear the guitar when I'm punched in. So watch. So we only hear the guitar when we're punched in. Otherwise, we're just going to hear the track, which is muted right now. But if I unmute it, we're going to hear this unless we're punched in. So that's this mode right here. Monitor input, tape auto style. So next thing we want to do is change the recording mode. If we go up here to options, the default is record mode normal, which allows us to punch in, but we have to do it manually. By hitting the record button, when we get to that spot. But the purpose of this is to do it hands free. And I can't do that while I'm playing the guitar. So let's undo that. So instead, we'll switch the mode to record mode, time selection, auto punch. We could also switch it down here at the record button. If we right click, we can see the different options. And when we switch it, the record button changes to reflect what mode we're in. Normally it looks like this, but with auto punch, it looks like this. So in this mode, Reap is gonna punch in based on our time selection. So we have to create a time selection at our punch in and punch out points. Here's where we start. Let's create a time selection and let's make it Extend to right here. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. We can always fix it or trim it later. We just want to get it as close as possible for now. So now we're ready to go. Now the motor in right now is going to create different takes for each punch. Watch what happens. Going to record. So it punched in perfectly right here, and then punched out, which is what we want. But it created another take. See, this is take two of two. So if we hit T, it goes back to our original, so we can compare it. Hit T again, it switches to the new take. And we can keep doing this until we're happy with it. But if you don't want takes, let's undo that performance. We can go up here to options, down to new recording, and switch it from the default which creates new takes to this option right here. Trims existing items behind new recording, or tape mode. And if we choose this, it's gonna record over this piece instead of creating a take. Watch. Yeah. 
This time, it didn't create a take. So if I select it, hit T, there's nothing to switch. Now we can still go back to the original recording. It's not destructive. You can always go back here and trim it back out to the original performance, but it doesn't create takes if you don't want that. And most of the times, I'm gonna do this over and over again until I get the best performance and just keep that one. But if you prefer takes, you can just leave it in the default mode. Or if you don't want takes, choose this mode. Now another thing you could do is you could loop the recording. Going down here and turning on loop mode or repeat mode. And then you can play this over and over again until you're happy with it without having to hit play and stop each time. But the one problem with that is it's gonna loop based on our time selection. We want it to loop based on a bigger section. So we could hear from here to maybe over here somewhere. It's usually referred to as pre-roll and post-roll. So in that case, we just need to unlink our time selection with our loop points. So go to the options menu and go down here and turn this option off. Loop points link to time selection. If we turn that off, we can go up here, see how the cursor changes, and we can pull out our loop points. This is our loop point, this is our time selection. Go from about here to here. Now that section is gonna loop, but the time selection is gonna record. So now if we're in loop mode with this turned on, we can play this over and over again until we're happy with it. Let's take a few passes at it. And we're happy with it, we can just stop. But if you notice in this mode, it automatically creates takes, one for each loop. So again, we could switch them by hitting T to go to take one, two, or three of our loop. And if we're happy with it, we wanna keep just that take, hold on the keystrokes. On PC, it's Alt Shift T. On Mac, it's Option Shift T. Hit that, and it gets rid of the other takes leaving us with just the take we want, which was the last one. Now, if we zoom in, we could readjust our punches. Notice we already have a crossfade. Hold on shift to shift the crossfade to adjust our punch in and punch out points. This looks pretty good though. Check out the punch out. Again, there's a crossfade here. Hold on shift and just move it till it's perfect. And then when you're happy with it, just hit escape and that gets rid of our loop points and our time selection. And we can move on to do the same thing in other sections. So that's pretty much it. That's hands-free punching in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.